Hey dudes, it's me, Milo on Air. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do WASD movement in Unity 2D. It looks like this. Okay, so for my character, I'm going to be using the Tasty Characters Forest Pack. The link will be in the description for that. And I'm bringing any kind of character you want. We're going to use this one for now. And, okay, so you're going to want to add a component. And you're just going to want to scroll down here to New Script. And then just press Create and You can put whatever your name you want, but I'm just going to leave it blank. Okay. There. So now, if you go back to Assets... If you double click this, it should load up Visual Studio or whatever you are using. So below Mono Behavior, let's just make some room. Okay, so you're going to want to do Public. So also, the script will be in the description, or the comment, the pinned comment probably. It'll be pinned, so you can go copy paste that if you want. Because um, it is very simple, you've got to write one script for this. But if you want to know, like what to do um then watch this but you can just copy and paste the script skip to this time in the video um to see what to do after we make the script okay so all you're going to want to do is do uh yes so public float speed equals now this is whatever you want i'm going to do 10 10.5 okay and i'm going to do so that's, and you can change that also later, I'll show you how to do that. So um, then we're going to leave this, um, what we want to do is get rid of everything up to here. So after it's called one to a frame, we get rid of that, okay? And then into this line, we do position uh, dot y, so this is the y position. Oh, no, 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 no. So after update, we do vector three pull position, and it equals transform not position so this is just say like what kind of position we're in and help us detect that then we go on to a separate line right, so if input dot get key then we can set the key you want for this so if you want it to be like arrow keys um then do arrow keys but um obviously we're just gonna do w because that's obviously the thing so w so w and then double brackets at the end oh no double brackets one bracket at the end um and yeah and then we go on to the next line after that, I'm just looking at the script. Um, from that. All right, so under that, you're gonna want to um, you're gonna want to type so position y. So this will go to the y position. Plus and equals. Oh no, plus and equals. Uh, speed. So this will show what kind of speed. Um, we're gonna do that times time dot delta time do, and then do under. So basically we just do the same thing, okay? But um what we, we basically all we do is for W and S it's the same, but instead of get input key uh, W, it, we just do like what kind of form we want. Um and then yeah, so it's exactly the same. So for W and S it's um Y and then for D and A it's X. So let me just show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've just done the um, thing. So as you can see here, it's basically the same. So we just, that's our first bit. Um, so we get the input key S, uh, and it's exactly the same, so you can just copy, paste there. And for this, it's also the same, but it is, um, it is a X, and it's also, um, this is also for that one, and that one is also um, minus, not plus. And then at the bottom, it will say transform position equals position, or BOS, and then there we go. So then we just click this little button to save all. Then we minimize that and go back into Unity. And, um, oh God. Because of what we put in there, because of what we put in there, it we can change the speed. So if you feel like the speed isn't great, then you can just change it right here. So if we press play, it should work. And there we go. So that is the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. But also one more thing. So go if you've already done everything you want to go. But let me just tell you one more thing that you might want to do, it might really help. So if you go in, into Window and Package Manager, load it up, and then it'll already be in Unity Registry, but I just already went into it. You click here, and you type C, um, that, C-I-N, 
and it'll come up with Cinema Machine the first thing. You press install and you wait for it to install. So uh, once you have done that, you see a Cinema Machine thing has been added and then you can press create virtual camera and then it'll come up with another thing and here you can just change how you want your th what you want to do. But where it says follow, you're just going to click this little like circle and click on your character and double click it and there you go. So now you have a game and it will follow your camera so you know you'll never actually leave the frame so that's pretty cool so let me just and there we go as you can see it's all good all right also um if you want me to know how to fix this if you want me to tell you how to fix this layering issue um literally it's very simple just add in a sorting group and um if, yeah if you have any questions in the comments i am more than happy to answer them and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.